Target located. Found him. That terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. So you want me to remote pilot this thing? Indeed. Once you've physically breached server security, we can take care of the rest from here. It's a strange feeling. It feels like it's really me scurrying around. Well, you have hacked into all its sensors. Of course it should feel this way. Listen, Doc, if my body's ever destroyed, promise you won't stick me in one of these things. Well, I'm in no position to make such promises, you know. Especially not before you find the terminal. All right, all right, I get the idea. Should be no problem. Stealth is my specialty, after all. Doc, the tripods Mistral had, they could leech electrolytes from my fuel cells, right? Can I do the same with the cyborgs here? But why would you want to do this, Raiden? Too much energy and you would most certainly explode. Oh, right. <laughs> I guess there's that. It took quite an effort to hack into our little friend there, you know. I would take good care of him. So, autonomous gears against remote gears? Which one do you think's got the advantage? 
Well, you cannot make a valid comparison between the two so easily, you know. You must take the relative specs of the models into account, the skills of the operator, and so forth. I suppose so. All things considered, remote gears do indeed hold the advantage, in most cases at least. Then I get the feeling you're gonna tell me why. This type of remote weapon can be traced back to Germany, you know. World War II. The Wehrmacht employed a remote-controlled mine called Goliath, with tank-like treads on either side. The operator could send it over 600 meters into enemy territory before detonating its payload. The Germans certainly did have a knack for weird new weapons back then. <clears throat> if I may continue... Now, UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, began to proliferate in the 90s. They were equipped with cameras, enabling the operator with a much greater degree of control. But it took 20 more years before autonomous craft would gain wide acceptance. Makes sense. The AI wasn't good enough until just recently, right? Correct. Target location and course correction were not a problem, of course. GPS solved all that. But target selection or base defense, these types of objectives require extremely complex AI routines. It was only with the advent of optical neuro AI that such a thing became possible. Neuro AI was developed using a completely new paradigm in computer architecture, you know. Not the von Neumann model, which served as a standard up till that point. Neuro AI was modeled after the human brain. It can learn and mature entirely on its own. Like the Patriot's AI, just on a smaller scale. Indeed. It cannot copy or rewrite data, but the structure does solve several problems quite well. The frame and symbol grounding problems, to be exact. It gives the AI flexibility within unknown states. But such a system still lags behind the average human in speedy decision-making. Also, as they cannot converse, they cannot demand or accept surrender, or avoid such unnecessary conflict. And, as you know, such tactics are often the most effective strategy for victory. So, yes, the fact that they do not require a human soldier as a pilot is an advantage, purely in terms of resources. But, in a hypothetical battle between two identical UGs, the remote gear tops the autonomous model, no question. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, even the remote gears have some AI these days, to handle balance and other minor details. So, the line between remote and autonomous UGs grows less and less distinct every day. Doc, the tripods Mistral had. They could leech electrolytes from my fuel cells, right? Can I do the same with the cyborgs here? But why would you want to do this, Raiden? Too much energy and you would most certainly explode! Oh, right. <laughs> I guess there's that. It took quite an effort to hack into a little friend there, you know. I would take good care of him. Doc, the tripod... Can I do... But... Oh, right. It took quite... So you said it took three years to learn how to speak, right? Given enough time, could any AI be taught that too? I cannot assert that. A neuro AI does my That's a relic. It would be a so if other and I do not. Mm. Is it perhaps Maybe. the most the only one? Of course. Fa I Let me ask you something. What do you think? I mean, because I owe Adele. I, can I know. What do you think? Adele, if you, <laughs> however, and as. <laughs> Let me ask you some. I mean, Adele. I, can... I know. What do you think? Adele, if you. <laughs> How and that? <laughs> What's up? Okay, save complete. Don't let your girl. What's up? No? Did you need. No, just wanted to. Oh. Man, I couldn't have imagined anyone would cut the brains out. What are they even doing this for? Why make them into cyborgs? I don't know. They say child soldiers are both bolder and... They are. But the... Yeah, for now, we come in... Man. What if... Why make... I don't know. They are. But the... Yeah, for now, we come in... Raiden, I said earlier this is an... If I if think... Th but... Yeah. Just keep... That would... Vi I hear you. I'm worried about the kids they haven't got to yet. But they're just... The, they're mass maintenance. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, for now... You got it. Raiden. I said, if any I attack, but yeah. just that would my.
Raiden, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs. Guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Takunse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet.